Imagine this, you walk into a restaurant with a friend or a date and you guys go get some food. You guys have a great time, you're done eating, and now the server comes to your table with the check. You sign the check and at the bottom of the check, it has tip percentages. Guys, are we tipping or are we not tipping? And if you are tipping, how much should you be tipping these servers? We're gonna talk about that in this video. Hey, if you don't know me, my name is OG. Today, when we're talking about the serving industry, tipping culture, and black people. So recently I made a short titled Black People Don't Tip and it's gotten some pretty interesting comments. Let's watch. Black people don't tip good. So I was out with my friends one day and we went to this Vietnamese spot, amazing food. We decided to go on separate checks and I was the first person to pay. I had this little awkward moment with the server where like they had their screen and they have all the tips and then they stare at you. I tipped about 10%. My friend behind my back was like, I fucking guessed it. And I asked him, what's the problem? And he said, Black people don't tip good. My mind was raging once I heard that shit. On the car ride home, we had this whole debate about the serving industry and if the employers should be paying them enough money. And I was a little bit close-minded to the subject until I briefly was in the serving industry. And I realized that these do not get paid at all. You would be lucky to find a serving job that pays you $5 an hour. And till this day, I don't even know how that's illegal to pay someone below minimum wage and then find a rationale around it. In the serving industry, they do have those notions about you. They do know the demographics and the races and the class of people that will tip more and the people who would tip less. I don't like the fact that black people are put in that situation that we don't tip good or we don't tip at all. Right now, wherever I go that requires a server or that asks for tips, it doesn't matter how much the check is, I'm always gonna pay 30% tip to that server because I wanna get rid of the stereotype. I do not like it. It does not rub me in the right way whatsoever. That's so weird watching myself, I swear. We're gonna get into the black people stuff later, but I want us to talk about the serving industry in the first place. So guys, I live in Georgia and the minimum wage is sitting at $7.25. If you're not in America, you don't know what minimum wage means. It pretty much means that businesses and employers can legally cannot pay their workers anything under $7.25. What does this have to do with serving industry? Well, pretty much in the serving industry, it's actually quite normal to get paid below this minimum wage. Some of these jobs commonly start at $2 an hour. Yes, you heard that right, $2 an hour. Why is it not illegal? Well, the employers actually use the rationale that they're gonna be getting the difference via tips from customers, sometimes in the form of gratuity and sometimes in the form of tip share from other servers. So when you go to certain restaurants here in America, you are pretty much 80% responsible for the server's paycheck. This is why a lot of people are discussing more about this because we have a divide in this discussion. On one side, you have the server saying, please tip us, we don't make much, it really helps. And on the other side, you have people who do not want to tip and they're saying things like, your boss should pay you enough money, why the hell should I pay you extra money out of my pocket plus the food? Like this commenter here said, find a job that pays the minimum. It is not my fault or responsibility to make up the difference for the company you're choosing to work for. Or this guy that said, I just cannot get it through my thick skull. Why these absolute brain dead people take this supposed five dollars an hour job and then demand others to tip them. Just take another job. Fuck restaurants. They'll figure this shit out. Go get a better job. You took the shit five dollars an hour job in the first place. Wow. So as you can see, people are actually quite divided on this. Let's read some stats about tipping. So Americans tip around 16% on average. You can see here on the charts here, uh, less than five people will tip 3%. And you can see the most commonly tip is around 16 to 20%. They say 15% is a good balance point. And you can see here, is 30% on the chart? Nope. 30% is off the charts, okay? I'm tipping exceptionally here, guys. I think the max here is showing is 21 to 25%, and then more than 25%, 7% of people. So I'm part of the 7 percenters in America tipping more than average. Should I clap for myself? I don't know. And then when it comes to matters like gender, the report's saying that women are actually more generous and frequent tippers than men do, which is something I'm not quite surprised by because a lot of servers are majority women. Uh, I barely see any male waiters out there. I see a lot of waitresses. So I guess they could understand where the women are coming from. And then this one, 
is actually quite sad. They say, how do people feel about tipping? And here you see negative feelings people have towards tipping. Look at this. Look at all these negative feelings here. You have people feeling pressured, overwhelmed, embarrassed, guilty, confused, uncomfortable. These are all super negative feelings. I shouldn't be feeling these things when I'm giving you money. I should be giving you money out of the kindness of my heart, out of the fact that you amaze the shit out of me with good service. I shouldn't be feeling these things while I'm giving you. And you can see here, a lot of people, majority of people in this chart, 31% are feeling pressured to give you money, even if they do not want to give you money. Even though there is bad service, I feel like there's some sort of social stigma that is going to shame me for not giving you this tip. I believe tipping should be based on good service. And I think that's where majority of people are coming from. I shouldn't be feeling these negative emotions giving you extra money out of my pocket. I should be wowed. It should be part of the experience. You should be part of your branding, being in your restaurant. What makes your restaurant different? That should be the reason why I should give you a tip. Not because I'm pressured or feeling some negative feelings or, or, or I'm feeling pressured about my race or something. And partially, some servers have some really nasty attitudes. And I, and I get it. I get it. It's an exhausting job. Sometimes you have to wait four to five tables, remember names, remember their orders. You're working eight to nine hour shifts sometimes double, getting paid $2 an hour. It can get exhausting. And then you have to deal with customers that make some really stupid demands like, can you turn the AC up or can you turn the AC down? No, ma'am, I can't turn the AC down. But because you don't want them to get mad and you want to tip max them, you're probably going to say some shit like, um, I'm not sure I can do that, but I'm going to see what I can do. You have some people, you have some Karens blaming the servers for the quality of the food. Like, ma'am, I did not cook this food. I was simply just an intermediary bringing the food from the kitchen to you. It's not my fault that the food is super spicy. It's not my fault that the chef didn't add enough salt to your liking. Do not blame me for the quality of food. I'm just a, I'm just the messenger here. <laughs> and this is where we get into the black thing now. Okay. I did not know about this black people thing, about this whole stereotype, until my friend told me about it, until I briefly was working in the serving industry and actually saw that black people didn't tip as much. We joked about this a lot in the back. If, if there's a scenario where a man and woman come to a date, you can clearly see that they're in a relationship where they're having a first date or something. Trust me, there is a high chance you're going to get a fat tip from there. Why? Because the dude is trying to impress the girl. And a lot of dudes actually pay up to 30% tip or they give you cash just so the girl can go, oh my gosh, the treats later are so good. You know, I want to open my legs and spread my legs for him. Like, they guys do shit like that to impress girls. Like these are small little things. There are different demographics of people that are going to pay more tip and less tips. Why do we as black people have to overperform to not be part of a stereotype? Like I, I find this no different than a black person at a clothing store getting asked if they can afford the clothes. Like that situation, that scenario gets dramatized a lot in movies and, and shows, but trust me, it happens, or at least a form of it happens. I had this one person share that post to my story, and they were saying here, sadly, this is very true. Being a server, I do not have an hourly wage. Whoa, that's sad. I'm literally depending on you to tip. This is the main reason I hate taking black parties. It's only two people out of 25 that will actually tip. It gives you three options at the bottom of your check. Please pick one of those or more. And, and by the way, this person that reposted was a black person. So do not call here and say it's some racist shit. We in the black community actually know about this too. And this person actually does not have an hourly wage and their job is pretty much based on tips. I do not know how that is legal at all, but they seem to be in a way worse situation than a lot of other servers out there who are at least getting below minimum wage plus tips. So literally... 100% of her paycheck depends on you getting extra money out of your pocket. That That's sad. That's really sad. We are in a system that normalizes tipping. Back then, tipping was out of the goodness of your heart because you were wow, because you got amazing service. And now it's so normalized that it's expected of you, even though the service was just bland. And now because the employer is trying to pay the difference, tipping is actually spreading to even fast food restaurants. You have McDonald's and Subway asking me for tip. And then servers will come to your table, tip max you, fake smile at you. And then when you don't tip them, they're going to talk shit about you in the back. I've seen this multiple times. But because we're in a system like this now, stats like these are going to exist. 
it is inevitable. There are going to be a group of people that are going to tip more and there's going to be a group of people that are going to tip less. That's just how it is. I just didn't like how the stereotype made me feel and I felt like doing something about it. There are that one server that have preconceptions about black people being cheap or not tipping can at least see that not all black people are the same and that we do tip good sometimes. But I don't want to discourage paying someone what they're worth. If it's something that is too expensive out of my budget, I always find a way to make sure the person gets compensated for a fair price. There is no cheap balling until I see that it isn't fair. And if you give me bad service, you ain't seeing this 